Hi, welcome back to Celebrating Culture. We're here today in Lake Village, Arkansas for the annual spaghetti feed at Our Lady of the Lake Catholic Church put on by the Italians of Sunnyside Plantation. And Anthony is gonna tell us the story of a great migration that was brought here in 1895. Anthony, welcome to the show. Thank you, Charles. So glad you're here. Well, I want you all to know about here in Lake Village, Arkansas, down in the southeast corner of Arkansas in the Mississippi Delta. A little over 125 years ago in 1895, a New York financier acquired the magnificent Sunnyside Plantation here in Lake Village, Arkansas. It was one of the largest plantations in the entire South. After the Civil War, the labor force was decimated with all the slave laborers moving up north. So the financier, Austin Corbin, came up with this great plan. Some called it a scheme to replenish his labor force with Italian laborers. So he knew a mayor of Rome called Prince Ruspoli, and together they put together a scheme to populate an Italian colony right here in Lake Village, Arkansas. So in 1895, the first wave of Italians came in. Over 500 Italians were settled here in little houses on the plantation called Sunnyside. The plantation was on the other side of the lake and it was nestled in between this 18 mile lake, Lake Chico, which is the largest natural oxbow lake in the United States. And we had, after two years in 1897, we had a thousand settlers right here in Lake Village. Before that, there were only 40 Italians in the entire state of Arkansas. And so from 1895 to roughly 1923, when immigration was cut off in the United States, this settlement here flourished and thrived. And so what we're doing here today is the tradition which began in 1896 of serving pasta and spaghetti dinners and meatballs to the community. Everything that is made here, the pasta from scratch, the meatballs from scratch, our fabulous lemon cake desserts are amazing, our salads, and we have people come from all over the South for this day. And today, here in 2021, March 7th, we had a sellout again. It's all gone. It's just a great testament to the tradition here. And we have people from age six years old to 94 years old that volunteered in making of this pasta. I have been coming to this spaghetti dinner in Lake Village since 1978, and the Italian population here is truly amazing. They are so generous and kind. They're hard workers. They work on this for a solid year. People meet up here, they have a good time together. The pots of the spaghetti are so big that instead of a spoon, they use boat paddles to stir the sauce. My name is Dino Sabatini. I'm the fourth generation. My family came here in 1896. Are you the head chef? Me and another friend of mine named Keith Hunter, they made the meatballs two weeks ago. 4,048 meatballs. Yeah, a lot of stirring. You can't burn it on the bottom. You're going to keep the meatballs from drying out on the top, so you got to always smash them down in there, stir them around a little bit, and keep them rolling. And we stayed busy cooking noodles from 6 o'clock this morning till 12.30. It's 1.48 right now. Wow. <laughs> Roughly 30 years ago, my mother, Elizabeth Olivi Borgannoni, founded the museum here, the Italians of Sunnyside and Church Museum. And we have one of the largest church museums in the state of Arkansas. We're very proud of it. And you can see the entire history of the Sunnyside Italians right here in our museum from 1895 to the present day. There are over one million descendants distributed across the United States that originated right here in this little hometown of Lake Village, Arkansas. Just like many immigrants that came to the United States, they had to battle through some friction and some unfavorable circumstances. And right here, the Italians were taken great advantage of. So the Sunnyside Plantation developed their own currency to control the Italian colony. And the Italians, when they were here and in their homes, they were provided small cottages, small homes, but everything that was provided for them was from the company store on a debt system. So if the Italian laborers were given advancements with company money, not American money, but company money, and then they accrued a debt. So with that debt, 
the plantation owners controlled them. Because of that system, which is called a peonage system, became a form of slavery. So because of that slavery during the 1907, the Teddy Roosevelt administration sent down a special investigator from the U.S. Attorney General to investigate the peonage and the horrible atrocities that were inflicted upon the Italian settlement here. The great suffering that our ancestors had to endure, but they endured it, they thrived, and became great American citizens and very proud of our heritage. Our heritage here, the tradition is now 126 years long. We have put together a new foundation called the Italians of Sunnyside Foundation, which people contribute to out of their generosity to keep this legacy going, and we hope it'll be around for the next 125 years. Anthony, I want to thank you for being on the show, and what a great spaghetti dinner you guys put on, and it's just great how you've kept the history alive. If somebody wants to learn more, is there a website they should go to? Yes, there is. That website is the Italiansofsunnyside.org. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more of Celebrating Culture.